Hello everybody, welcome to another video on my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be looking at my winter 2019-2020 forecast. This is a preliminary forecast, which means that it's very far in advance. So don't take anything like it's set in stone or anything. Because this I'm going to probably make two or three of, of, of these. Because it's just going to change so much. Because the models are going to change. Everything's going to change. So... I'm going to try to bring the most accurate data that I have, but this is what we have for now. Here's my temperature anomaly. So in this in this lighter blue shade, we have anywhere in this blue, it's slightly below average. So that's for much of the central United States and the eastern United States, even into parts of the west. But mainly for, um, for this darker blue shade is where you're going to really feel the colder temperature the cooler temperatures and that's for much of the central united states and the northeast and parts of the mid-atlantic in this well well below average um in this purple we have well below average and that's gonna that's gonna be the area where i think we could have some arctic blasts come down from canada and the polar areas and it's just gonna come down like we did ha like last year not as as intense though I don't think it's going to be as intense as last year. Last year was insane. Negative 50, 60 degrees. So S We have slightly above average, though, in this yellow or orange shade for parts of Florida, Texas, New Mexico, Arizona, Nevada, California, Washington, and Oregon. So you're going to, you it might not be noticeable, but you are going to have some slightly above average temperatures in those areas. For our precipitation anomalies, we're going to have slightly above average in anywhere in this gr lighter green, including parts of Washington and Oregon right here in the Pacific Northwest. And then we have most of the eastern half of the United States in an above average precipitation. And then parts of the southeast is are going to see above average, and also part of the, parts of the Great Lakes could see above average. So... Combine that with the cold, you can see some above average above average snowfall. So here's our, here's my snowfall forecast. Just because I think that it's gonna be warmer, I'm calling for below average snowfall in these areas. Not gonna be too noticeable, but you I think you will be below average for the Rockies. Though I think you're gonna be slightly above average, spanning all the way from Montana down to North Carolina and South Carolina, we're going to have a slightly above average. And then this darker shade of blue, we're going to have above average. That's where we could be 10 to 15 inches above average in these areas, depending on where you live. And then we have the well above average area for the interior northeast, parts of Ohio, most of Michigan, ha the upper half of, of uh, Wisconsin, northeast Minnesota and the UP of Michigan. That's where we could see significant snowfall totals way above your average. So now here's my overall winter forecast. We're going to, this is where, this is like to recap the entire month. So on the side here, you have the little guide or something. Like, uh, yeah, so you have the guide on the side and then you have the map here and we see some coastal storms for the north for the in for the coastal northeast and parts of the mid atlantic that in this darker one we're going to see many coastal systems over here but in this lighter one we're going to see some coastal systems so you could see two or three in this lighter blue but in the darker blue you could see five or six throughout the entire winter we as we get closer we can be more definitive more definitive but this is what i'm going for for now and right now we we're looking like it's looking like the interior of the northeast is going to be seeing a ton more snow because if we have so basically we're going to be in an end zone neutral and if you don't know what that means the jet stream is going to be like this so all the cold air is up, is up north and then the warm air south so so if the jet stream moves a little bit in interior then there will be very little snow for the coast and then we'll have m the most snow for the interior u.s like we did last year so that's why i'm calling for worst of winter there and even if we do get a bunch of coastal systems the interior northeast is still going to get a ton of snow from that and plus they have the lake effect snow 
we have our winter battle zone over here. This is where I think you're mainly going to be seeing your um, winter mix, ice, things like that. So it's not going to be a very pleasant winter if you're in this purple zone. If you're in this green zone, parts of the south, including South Carolina, Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, and all of Florida, you're going to be seeing wet conditions because you're going to be on the south side of the storms, probably tracking like that. So that's why you're going to be seeing a ton of rain for those areas, way more than your average. And then we have the Arctic blasts over here. This is where I was saying we were going to have a bunch of Arctic, we're going to have some Arctic um, blasts coming in from the north, and it's going to be very cold and frigid for the for these areas. Then we have our warmer and drier for parts of the west. Well, actually, most of the west. So that's why we're calling for below average snowfall for the Sierra Mountains and then also for the Pacific Northwest. It's really only because we're going to be drier and we're also going to be warmer. But who knows? This could definitely change. So um, stay tuned. I'm probably going to be posting another one uh, probably in September. So I would recommend subscribing if you don't want to miss that. Anyways, that was me. I hope you enjoyed this, and goodbye.